Welcome back to The Construction Veteran. I'm Scott Friend, and today we're gonna to talk about part four of our eight-part series discussing overcoming construction challenges. Let's dig into it. Today we're gonna to explore how construction professionals adapt to unforeseen circumstances and ensure project success despite unexpected challenges. From design changes and budget constraints to unforeseen site conditions, these circumstances can disrupt construction projects. However, by maintaining flexibility, communicating effectively with stakeholders, and implementing contingency plans, construction professionals can navigate these challenges and achieve successful outcomes. Unforeseen conditions are pretty common in our industry. This episode is brought to you by Aerial Resupply Coffee. Aerial Resupply delivers bold flavor with every sip. Their beans are expertly roasted for peak freshness and a smooth, invigorating taste. Elevate your coffee game by using code CONSTRUCTIONVET10 at checkout to receive 10% off every order. Stay caffeinated with Aerial Resupply Coffee. Whether it's a design change requested by the client, a budget constraint, or an unforeseen site condition, we need to be prepared to respond effectively to keep the project going. Again, you'll hear me reiterate about communication. Open communication is key. We don't wanna keep these things a secret. We need to talk about the challenges that we're facing so we can get more people in to help. This episode is brought to you by Memorial Ranch, a place for our veterans and first responders to find rest and relaxation while they prepare for their next mission, life. By keeping everyone informed and involving the decision makers, we can ensure that any changes are implemented smoothly and with minimal disruption to the project. Now, we've got a variety of different ways that we can overcome these unforeseen conditions. This may include revising the plans, reallocating resources, or renegotiating the contract to accommodate these changes. Flexibility is key. We've got to be willing to adjust our plans, so be humble. Maybe your plan that you originally wanted to do especially as a superintendent, you know, we want to wrap our arms around the entire project, but you've got to be flexible. Maybe somebody else has a better way to do this. Implementing contingency plans is another crucial aspect of adapting to unforeseen conditions in construction. We've got to be proactive and not reactive. This means things like reading your plans, looking ahead. People have said superintendents have a superpower of looking into the future. We can see because we've seen these buildings built, what might cause an impact six, 12 plus weeks down the road. When we're reactive and not proactive, this doesn't help anybody. People get stressed out, people are freaking out. What's the plan, what do we do? You've gotta be like a duck. Smooth, calm and collect on the surface, paddling like hell underneath. Another key aspect is transparency. We have to share with the client what's going on. If you don't tell them anything, they're gonna think, okay, everything's just going along smoothly as planned. We need to let them know what the issue is. This may cause a change order, this may cause changes in the plans, it may extend the schedule, who knows? Unforeseen circumstances are an inevitable part of the construction project, but by maintaining flexibility, communicating effectively with all the stakeholders, and implementing contingency plans, we can navigate these challenges and ensure project success. Proactive problem solving with the team, that's the key. Get everybody involved. You might think, there's too many cooks in the kitchen, but somebody out there has the solution to the problem you're facing, I guarantee it. There's nothing new under the sun when it comes to the construction industry. Thanks again for your time and good luck.